Herman B. Wells was one of the first students to attend the School of Business at Indiana University. Eleven years after he graduated, he became the dean, and then, two years after that, the president of IU. He always believed in the business school and that the way students learned here was unique. He would be amazed and proud to see what the school has become. Coming in as a freshman was a little bit intimidating because the Kelly School is so renowned and full of so many smart people. I found myself wondering how I was going to compete with all of these different people. It's tough to get feedback. It's tough to have people tell you what your opportunities are. But taking care of them now is a lot better than taking care of them later. What we're doing is real world applicable. Students may not recognize it, but they'll see it soon after. You're going to get tough feedback. It hurts sometimes, but it makes you better. The consulting workshop was one of the first times when I felt like I was set up to fail, but was taught that that was okay. Professor Rubin, he gave back our first deck. Um, there were about 11 slides and 53 comments on them. One was good, two were okay, and the rest criticized every little detail of our deck. But each presentation, I felt myself getting significantly better. He gave us the opportunity to really learn, and that was awesome. Then this summer at my internship, I had someone actually refer to me as the Yo-Yo Ma of PowerPoint. I worked for a consulting firm this summer. When I first walked in, my director said he didn't understand why people would hire employees out of undergraduate programs. That was a scary place to be. My first performance recommendation came in, and I was a little nervous to see what he'd written. And it said, we look forward to having you in the firm. We couldn't ask for a better employee. Kelly students get all the instruction and skills in the traditional business disciplines, but overlaid and infused in this educational experience is a set of critical thinking and analytical tools. Real skills that I believe set our students apart in the marketplace. Skills that are about resolving difficult and ambiguous dilemmas. So in my class, what we often do is get in what I call the flight simulator experience. When I see young leaders push themselves to meet the challenges we put before them, I really feel like I'm part of a tradition that sets Kelly apart. I get to see students develop new levels of confidence every day. The way they present themselves, the way they show up, the way they lead, it changes right before your eyes. Overall what I've learned here is that you have to have the hard skills, but more so than just knowing the technical pieces of business that you learn in class, it's also about having a positive roll your sleeves up attitude when it comes to work. And no matter how hard it gets, no matter how challenging the times are, and they will put you through those situations you learn to keep your positive attitude uh, and push forward and that that's really what drives your results. One of the big Kelly differences is the culture here and that's a culture of taking on extra responsibility and paying it forward to others. And those are also the kinds of opportunities where you can step up and really apply the things that you've learned. My Kelly education is like a high performance jacket. I put it on and now I'm prepared for bad weather but I'm also comfortable and confident. You see the world this way, and this is what I know, and these are the skills that I have, so I know that I can do it. Now, when I see something that I don't know, I'm excited by it rather than being scared of it. I think, oh, here's a situation I don't know, but I can figure it out. A big turning point for me was a trip to India that I took the summer after my freshman year. It was a really eye-opening experience because it showed me what I could do at Kelly and shaped the opportunities that I sought out afterwards. I feel like I have significantly more confidence because at the start of the program, I could not have imagined that I would have met our chief operating officer and had a sit-down conversation with him, that I would have had breakfast with our CEO. I never thought that any of that was possible when I entered the program. And looking back on it, now that I'm in the program, I'm now able to step in and say, well, this is how I think that we can manage this because I have the experience of what we've done in the classroom at the Kelly School. Shortly after I was hired, I was put onto a project team to compose a ten-year strategy for the company. I immediately called one of my Kelly professors, and he got back to me immediately. Over the course of a few weeks, we talked nightly in the evening when he was free, and he taught me how to best engage the executive team and our board of directors. Now, less than two years after I started, I'm already working directly with the CEO. Looking back, I think one of the most pleasant surprises in the program was the amount of coaching. 
It happened all around us. As I started the program, I got a lot of guidance to help me up the curve, but really, it was a chance I had to coach other students that stands out. It was just expected of us as we progressed through the program at Kelly. That skill, more than anything, has enabled me to build better relationships in my role today, and I know it's made me a better leader. I spent three years overseas in Singapore. The business was unfamiliar, the cultures were unfamiliar, and the languages and differences of the 11 countries that we had responsibility for really made this a challenging assignment. As I look back, I see that I was prepared in my education to do things that really stretched me when I got outside of my comfort zone. I had the courage to believe I could create a new sort of company. I started Seed Strategy with the vision of creating a place where the best strategists and creative people would want to work, and where I wanted to work, believing the clients would follow. I started one employee at a time, one client at a time, and now we're one of the largest brand strategy companies in the country and one of the top product innovation companies in the world. And I hire students from Kelly. They're smarter, more driven, more creative, more worldly, and better prepared than even I was. Real leaders have to have the courage to put themselves out there and do things differently. And through this courage, you find you're not only improving your own life, but the lives of other people. I have a great job. I get to focus on making the lives of consumers better every day. It's a privilege and an honor. Every assignment that I've had at Lilly has been challenging. But what I learned at Kelly was that each challenge you take really gives you an opportunity to grow. My grandmother used to say to me, if you can help one person in your life, you've truly reaped the riches of the world. In some cases, here in what I do at Lilly and what we do as an organization, we not only get to help one person, in some cases we're helping thousands, if not millions, and that gives me great gratification. There's no doubt that having graduated from this school is one of my greatest sources of pride. Ash Sony and I both attended, we graduated from here, and now we're leading the school. And we feel it's a tremendous privilege. I'm at a place that employs a lot of MBAs in the exact same situation that I'm in. And I haven't seen one situation where 15 members of the class come back for an impromptu reunion just to hang out with each other in the town they went to school. One of the cool things about Kelly is being part of Indiana University because it's a Big Ten school and everyone here gets a chance to bond around the basketball team. I'm a Hoosier through and through. I bleed crimson and cream. The students here have a real modesty and a humility about them, which is a fantastic trait for us as business students to take out into the world. It's incredibly important for our culture, but it's also important in relating to all kinds of people, which is a big part of what we learn to do here. I have a relationship with this school, with this city. Bloomington's part of who I am now. When I come back to the Kelly School of Business after a break, I feel like I'm back home. Ed Kelly exemplified the spirit of our family. The School of Business and the success of its students, these were important to him. It's important to all of us. I think the biggest reward that I have in doing this job is seeing people succeed. Kelly's students seem like old souls in the business world. They all have this wonderful charisma about them, a warmth and humility, so you feel like you've known them for a really long time. Generations of Kelly students have taken what they've learned here into the world. Kelly has done everything for me, everything. But more than anything, it's taught me to be courageous. And courage is what makes positive change possible. <laughs>